Hey guys, so this is going to be just a quick preview of The Four Continents, which is on tonight, but I have a test set the right tomorrow, so I can only see half of it, but for those of you who will hopefully be watching this, um, you can see my predictions, and I'll be doing a review afterwards, hopefully tomorrow when my test is over and I'm free, but for now I'll just be doing the men's and the ladies um, overview. So looking at the field of skaters for The Four Continents that's going on right now, um, the three big names will be any of the, my printer, um, we have Patrick Chan, Daisuke Takahashi, Dennis Ten, and any of the three United, United States men actually too. Um, my predictions, I think right now with Chan's abnormally ridiculous highly high scores, he's probably going to win this by like 50,000 points because he can rack up program component scores like, so. I'm thinking he's gonna get gold. So number one, Patrick Chan. Number two, Daisuke Takahashi, because he has program component scores too, but his quad is just a little bit shakier. And third place, I'm going to go with Adam Rippon from the U.S. because he has his LUTs and. He is so much, he's grown so much this year. I saw my nationals, and I think he, he's a definite bronze medalist contender. But those you should also watch will be the other two United States men, which is Richard Dornbush and Ross Miner. Richard, he had a bad United Nationals showing, so he probably is going to want to fight back, try to get up there again, get more respect. So we'll see from what happens there. Um, Ross Miner, obviously, he, he got third this year, and I think he was happy. Will he get third? Wait, he got third. Yes, he got third. He was third this year at national, so he's also a Dento too. Another two other dark horses is Dennis Ten, who has improved so much. I saw him at the Olympics and I thought, and I fell, and I fell in love with him immediately. Like man, and then the other two are Kevin Reynolds, like, who can do like eight quads, and Song Nan, who from the China, who also is consistent too. So that is the men, and for the ladies. This is really difficult, honestly, because this field is filled with so many big names. So, Canada. There's the, the duel between Canada because out of Amelia Lacoste and Cynthia Phaneuf, whoever gets a higher showing at this competition gets to go to Worlds. And I know that these two, and then I know that Cynthia wants to go to Worlds, but I think Amelia deserves it. But whoever performs better will go there. So, those two are big names, too. Um, also, in Japan, you have Maosada, Kanako Murakama. Murakame and Haruka Imai. Uh, Sada, she's definitely going to be one in redemption. I don't know how she's going to be doing after her death her mother, which I am so, like, upset about, which is probably late to say the, my condolences because it's been, like, half a year. Not the point. Um, so those three are also big names. Um, and also the three United States girls, Wagner, Zawaski, and Zhang. And don't forget South Korean Kwok Min Jong, who was at the Olympics and was 13th. So my predictions will be number one, Malasada. Number two, Ashley Wagner. And number three, uh, I'm gonna go with Caroline because I think she has been in the top five consistently for the past, because she went to Four Continents in 2011 and 2010 and was third and, no, fourth and third respectively. So I think she definitely will get at least, I think she'll be on the middle this year. But other ones you should watch for will be Kanako Murakame because she has a triple triple. So, um, also Zawaski, she had an amazing short program but fell apart in the free skate. Maybe she's gotten better. She had about like two weeks to fix it up, I guess. I don't know. You should, but she did have an amazing short program. And you should definitely be watching the battle between Canada's two top ladies, which is. Lacoste and Phaneuf because I doubt that two, two of them will make the podium, but it is possible, I guess. I don't know. I think that they're probably not going to just because Cynthia, her highest placement was fifth at Worlds, and this is just like basically Worlds just minus Europe. <laughs> um, so I'll see what happens from there. Uh, let me see. Okay, I still have time actually. I'm going to do the pairs too. Might as well. So for pairs, the Big two, the big names will be 
Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford, who won the Canadian Nationals. Um, Jessica DeMade, Sebastian Wolf, who were the silver medalists. Um, China's Sui Wenjing and Tong Han, who... Why? Well, I just have the name backwards. Okay. Sui Wenjing and Han Tong, which is their names... La oh my god, I said that wrong. That's the last name to first name, but you get my point. They were the ones who did the quad twist and quad south cows, and they won the junior grand final. And they're the only really medal contenders out of the three Chinese pairs. Um, Japan's Narumi Takahashi and Mervyn Tran. They are, they replaced eighth at Worlds. They, I think they have a definite choice here too. And any of the three United States pairs, but I'm not really familiar with them too much. So I can't really say much about that necessarily. Um, but my predictions will be... Number one, Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford because they are so consistent. They have all of their big tricks... And I don't see, and like I see them take, I could see them on the top of the podium. Number two, I'm gonna say their names, first name and last name Wen Jing Sui and Tong Han. And they are also very good. I'm not sure, they're not, I, they weren't the best in the Grand Prix, that's why they didn't make the final. I thought they should have made, but not, not the point. Um, and third place. I'm going to have to go with Katie Denny and John Golden, who, have, if I'm not mistaken, yes, they had won the Nationals this year. So, coming off of that, lots of confidence, right? Um, and then ice dancing. So, there's only actually one, two, four, six, ten, eleven. There's eleven ent entries for the dance, and there's actually only ten for pairs, which is kind of small. But the three ones we should be looking for, the, the big names, Virtue Moyer, Weaver Poche, Davis White, and the Shibatanis. And then on the third, and then the other two, because those are only, honestly, those are the only really big contenders right now because Alexander Paul and Mitchell Islam from Canada, yes, they were fifth. Yes, they're fifth. They're fifth at Nationals, but I don't think they are podium potential yet, but they, I'd like to see them make the top I would say top 10, but it's only like 11 pairs. I mean, 11 dance teams, so. <laughs> okay, so, um, number one, Davis and White, because they were much more consistent, and even though I prefer Richard Moyer over them, they definitely have the tricks. They're, they were much cleaner at Nationals, and they, just, and they just had Nationals like two weeks ago. So, that's definitely one. Um, second place, Richard Moyer. Obviously, but then honestly, these two teams can be interchangeable on the top of the podium. So I don't, I, you can't honestly say. I think it'll be Meryl Davis, Charlie White right now, and this is because I think Tessa and Scott just need a little more time to fix up and rerun their short dance because they did make some changes. Their short dance, which had resulted them in Tessa falling and not being the cleanest at nationals, but it didn't really matter because they still won by five points. But on the international stage, they're going to have to to get more consistent in that area, definitely. And third place, I'm going to have to go with the Shibatanis because their short dance was revamped and they were so good at nationals. And I'm right now, like, right my favorite pair in the entire, like, I my, one, like my favorite pair aside from Virtue Moyer and dance. And not to mention, a good people to look at will be Caitlin Weaver and Angie Poche because their short dance is good but they need some work but their free dance is amazing so yeah and also the united states madison hubble and zachary don who who i think were third if my memory serves me correctly yes no yes yes but they were four continents bronze medalists in 2010 so you should be looking out for them and you should be looking out for andrew poche and Caitlin Weaver, so their names back. I said saying their names backwards, but you get the point. Anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna go and stick my face on the TV and see how long I can like not blink while watching everything. Okay, bye.